Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, go ahead and subscribe and activate those notifications. So you already know by the title that we're recreating the creation of Adam by Michelangelo. And I've done that before on my channel, but it was a more complicated version. This one is more like a doodle. And I painted it on this jacket that I made. And I really liked the way it came out. And I liked how simple it was. I'm like, oh, maybe I should do a tutorial on how to do this. And I also created it in a more like pop art inspired type of way in two separate panels. Let me show you. So you can definitely go about it, you know, various ways. They're pointing at this giant pimple I have on my nose. I hate it that at almost 40, I still get pimples on my face. Like, I thought that was going to be over after high school. Eh, it's still an issue and I hate it. So anyway, enough about my acne problems at almost 40. I'm a huge Michelangelo fan. He was part of the Italian Renaissance movement. He was born in 1475 and died in 1564. So he lived a very long life. Actually, he went through nine different popes in his lifetime because he created a lot of things for, you know, the popes. But we're going to focus just on the arm, you know, when Jesus is giving life to Adam. Michelangelo had lots of skills. He was a sculptor, an architect, a painter. He was also a poet. He wrote over 300 poems. And my favorite, 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 you know, besides the creation, was Pieta. Now this sculpture is just completely amazing to me and just how real, like, and lifelike it looks is just beyond me. He was so, so, so talented. You know, the way he brought things to life out of Marvelist. I don't think no one like that has ever existed ever since. And my second favorite is the Statue of David. I think it's so well done. And I actually have the bust of David. And he's a little dusty. I think he needs some cleaning. It'd be cool to have like the whole entire one, but since I move around a lot, this is a little bit more convenient. All right, you're gonna lay here, David, cause I don't wanna break you. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with this drawing tutorial. It's gonna be super easy, cause you know, it's like a doodle. It's not like, it is a doodle. So get your Sharpie. I've already made some lines, just because hands, I think are one of the hardest things to draw on a person, or hands. I struggle with hands and noses for some reason, like if it's a um, frontal, View of a nose, I have a hard time. Profile, not too much. So anyway, you're gonna start at the left edge of your paper and then just start with the line. Almost like you're making a mountain ridge landscape and then you're gonna start coming down into the finger. Once you get here, you're gonna make a little loop and then come on down to make his tip of his finger. But then from this line, it goes on to the other one. So you got, what are you gonna, this is the middle, come over, then loop down to make the nail from this finger. Bring it down. And stop about right there. This is the bottom of the finger. So let's go back to actually drawing this finger. So just curve it in. We're going to add the nail right here, curve in, and curve out, and then extend it to continue with the finger. So it's just, you know, wavy organic line in the shape of what should be a finger. <laughs> extend it, then curve it back around. Here we're going to come down to bring the thumb. So we are coming down to here. Here it gets tricky because you're going to come in, make the nail, and then come out. You're going to come out, make another little loop, another loop, and go up. You're going to make another loop and then go out through the arm. Now assess your hand, okay? Maybe you need another line on top because it's too thin, or maybe I made this too skinny. And you can solve that just by adding lines. Since this is just a doodle, 
you don't even have to raise. So, okay, maybe this shouldn't be so so high. Maybe this was more like the angle. Or like here it's too low. Maybe I should add another line just to curve it a little bit. You know, you can really add and take. Maybe here I'm like, oh, this looks a little bit too empty. We'll just bring another line. I'm like, oops, that kind of looks weird. We'll just do a loop. You can basically make it however you want. And the fun part about this is that that's, there's no real mess up. Like here, I'm having a little bit of issue with how drastic that changes there. So I'm just going to bring a line to connect all that. And now I like that shape better than what I had. Let's continue with the fingers. Almost like the grip of a toy gun or something. So that's one, two, three. Oh, the fourth one's down here. So this is one, two, three, four. We need one here. And now this one just goes up because it's behind. So this now looks weird to me. Like, where's the palm? Where does the finger end? So we'll just add like a line like that. I feel like these are too simple little loops because it's like these little marks. We can add them over here too. You know, you just can you can get creative. And there we have that line. And now we're going to this one. So top of the nail go up to the edge of your paper. Here come down, loop. We're making the thumb here. Because it's the bottom of the wrist, loop. Come down. Here you're gonna have three fingers. Make a little loop here. They're kind of curled. This is a pinky. And the other one. And then the last one. Okay, so this doesn't look as, as good as that one, so I'm going to bring in more lines. Here we're missing the nail. Bring another line here. Loop there. Another loop here. Lines. I guess I need oh, one more loop. This comes down and then up. Now, I think this is not done. So I think what's going to make this look better is if I come in with black paint and make some of these lines really thick, some of them a little bit skinnier and such. Let me go do that and take off this jacket because it's really, really hot now. All right, so I got black paint with a little bit of water and a brush, and then I'm just going to trace these at different thicknesses. So this brush is too big, so I'm gonna go get a smaller one. This is a lot smaller. Ooh, and a lot better too. And there we have it. 
what if, crazy idea here, BRB, what if, like, this is not the creation, what if, I don't know, some people just put it somewhere in a different context. What if they were playing with something sharp and they accidentally cut themselves? So now they're bleeding, and then this one's like, whoa, like, hold on, let me help you, what happened? And then they get full of blood, too. Or maybe they cut themselves, too. Ooh, I like that. I like the contrast. Sign it. Don't play with anything sharp. Now, let me put my jacket back on so I can get a picture for the steel life. Not for the steel life. <laughs> for the thumbnail. I feel like the camera's too close. Let me scoot back. I feel like I'm not posing right. Sometimes I don't like my cheeks when I smile. Alright, I think I got it. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the process. Like I said, I've done this before. If you haven't checked that out, it's on, in my channel. This should be a whole lot easier than the first one I did. And actually a lot more entertaining to do and more fun because there's really no getting it wrong because you can just add lines to adjust your mistakes or adjust the way your hand is looking. That's all for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe. Activate those notifications. Activate those notifications and watch all the other content in my channel. Until next time, adios y bye. Did someone call?